everyone, this is Engineer Radfano Jada, and today I'm back with a new video regarding modeling and analyzing simple structures in Autodesk Robot Structure Analysis, and this is the exercise that we will be modeling and analyzing. So enjoy! Start a new project from File, and then New Project, and then select Frame to do Design. And now we have to set the units from Tools, Units, and Format and we select metric as you see this is our structure and now we have to define the grid the first axis is at zero so we click on add the next one is at four so we write here 4 and here 1 and the distance between it, the third one is 8 so write 8 here and the last one is 4.5 change their numbering to letters then we go to Z direction as you can see here, we have only 0, 5, and 4. 0, and 5, and 4. And then select values and apply. Now we have to define sections. As you see in this exercise, cross-section area is not mentioned, but we have change in moment of inertia. So we select any cross-section and change its moment of inertia accordingly. So let's, for example, take this one or any one of your own choice and name it as um, I. and we have moment of inertia around y-axis is 1 so this is it okay and the second one we have 2i and the third one 3i and the last one 1.5 so we have to click on add and the second one is 2i and this value will be 2 then add the third one is 3i and this value will be 3 and the last one is 1.5 and this value will be 1.5 then close it So we start with I and this is it from here up to here. Second one is 3I the next one is I And then we have 1.5i. The diagonal one is not mentioned, but it's i. And finally, we have this last segment, and its value is not mentioned also but it doesn't change anything so we set it as i to i it doesn't matter so let's assume it as to i to check if we set them correctly or not just right click and go to display and from bar description 
check the section names as you can see here we have i this one should be 2i now we have to assign support so the first one is fixed here and this one is in as you can see here we have roller here so we don't have it just create it name it as roller it allows the motion in this direction and rotation around y and apply it and here we have it's kind of roller and fix at the same time we create it it doesn't allow movement in the z direction and also it doesn't allow rotation but allows movement in the x direction so we name it as fixed roller okay and finally we have here elastic support and its stiffness is 600 kilonewtons per meter create new support and go to elastic uncheck the ry and use it and write here 600 If you focus here, you will notice that the connection is pinned between this member and this member. So change it from geometry. Just select the member, go to geometry, releases, pin fixed, and this is release. This member is quite different since it's considered as a truss member. So select it and go to geometry, additional attributes and advanced bar properties, truss bars, then apply. Now we're done with the geometry. The next step is defining loads. Go to load types and add DL1. It also accounts for self weight but we can delete it lately and the first load that we have is 30 kilonewtons and in the x direction on this member so we define load and uh, it's like this 30 kilonewtons and its uh, projected load as you can see here it's projected okay that's it the second load is 50 here we have 50 We have zero minus fifty. We also have minus fifty on this member projected load.
Next, we have this load. It's in the positive local z direction of this member. It's 35. So we write here 35 and it's local add here. And this one, it's triangular load. And its maximum value is 60. So we define it from here. Two points relative x1 0 x2 1 okay the value um, the value is 60 I think yeah minus 60 next we have this 80 and 25 so bar this one and in the x direction we have minus 80 and the moment is 25 and it's right x equals to 0.5 here and the last one is a nodal displacement by a magnitude of one centimeter so we click here and select this one minus zero point zero one and apply it here. Sorry, there's a mistake. As you can see here, all the values are shown and also we have the option to go to the tabulated form from here, tables and uh, loads. All loads are shown here, but the self-weight is deleted, I've deleted it. So if you have the self weight, just delete it. The next step is starting the analysis. There is no mistake, no errors and nothing at all. Go to results. Diagram for bars and then NTM, for example, FX forces and uh, labels differentiated field. This is our values, and also we can show the FZ forces this is the values also we can show the moments and everything can be shown from here and also we can show the information So this is it, thanks for watching, this is the end of this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, bye.